peace, energy, and motivation, and feelings of invincibility. Well, good afternoon. Good I don't know if it's even working. But we're just going to keep on rolling. See what happens. See you rolling. You hating. Um, listen. Let me tell you about my day, first of all. I rappelled down a 21-story building. Okay. That was pretty awesome. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I went a little too fast at one point, And there was like this emergency thing. Like, if you're going too fast, it keeps you from uh, stopping. But let me just try this for a second. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. If you could see my picture, just comment. Brit, I see you. I see you. I see you. Let me go like this. I'm going to record this. Hit record in this bad boy so that if I have any issues with this live stream, uh, I'm just going to post it up. Okay? So if you can see this and you're on the Facebook, say hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? Can I get a hell yeah? Because Facebook's been bad to me this week. Kind of laggy. Unless I'm from my phone, I got all these devices going, I got the Zoom open. I mean, that's part of it. That's probably part of it. Uh, but I wanted to share with you, uh, there was a recent study, and this wasn't, I always say that there was a recent study, and then it's shit that I make up. But this is not the case, okay? This is not the case. Uh, it's actual study. So I'm going to try to share my screen. Oh, Brit Jasper sees me. I see you. I see you. <laughs> All right, let's, let me go like this. I'm going to try to share my screen. Shared screen window. Let's see where we're going here. Jeepers, uh, creepers. Okay. Got all these screens. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. Don't zoom to the app window. This gets a little complicated after a while. Hold on, folks. Why is there a black screen? Guys, make no sense. Of course. All right, so where you want to go is later.com slash blog. If, you're, if you haven't uh, been following the folks from later, see, like, that's my live producer. I shut that down. Oh, that's the other screen. That's why. Okay. Primary display. This is where we're coming. All right. <clears throat> a little bit slow. Okay. Because I was supposed to go repelling and then I did it and then I went back and I did the repelling and it took way longer than I expected. Uh, so with later, see here, they, they analyze 81 million posts. 81 million. I'm going to make my circle bigger just so I can make more comments. 81 million posts, okay? Now, what did that tell them? Because it's always interesting. Um, I know what works for me, uh, and people always ask me, like, what do you think? What about me and my account? And I'm like, I don't know, man. We're all so different. I can't really comment on your account. Uh, but here's what they said. Uh, how often, how many times you should post on Instagram each week, okay? For an... an in this study, they did not take into account Reels or IGTV. But here's what I'll tell you. Reels are kicking ass, and IGTV can kick rocks. Every IGTV video I post is like garbage production. But it's okay. I'll still produce them there. I mean, I'll, I'll still post them there because I'm also simultaneously posting them on my Facebook, and I'm also putting them out on YouTube. So it doesn't hurt. Even if they get... Uh, I had an IGTV post this morning about the event that we did, and it had 46 views or something. I don't know. Still 46 more views. That's how you got to look at it. When you're first getting started, if you get into these vanity metrics, I call them, where you're like, oh, my God, nobody likes me. I'm so, uh. 
who gives a shit? Just produce content because you want to produce content because you want to have fun because you want people to know who you really are. And when they connect with you, then they decide to buy a house and you change their life, right? Let's think about it this way. There is a person that you have not met yet who is going to watch a video that you have not yet created. They're going to laugh. They're going to cry. They're going to be entertained. They're going to be educated. Something is going to resonate with them. They're going to pick you and you're going to change their life. Okay. So if that doesn't motivate you to make video content every day, I don't know what in the world would. Okay. 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 All right. <clears throat> So we have here, for accounts under 1,000 followers, posting 14 times per week delivers the highest reach and engagement rates per post. 14 times per week. That's a lot of posting shit. I, I mean, I really think it is a lot of posting, but they did the math on this. So for accounts between 1K and 250K, 14 or 20 times per week delivers the highest reach rate per post while posting once per week delivers the highest engagement per post, okay? Um, and, and give you the idea of, of the two things. Reach rate is, a, is an indicator of how many people total your account reaches, right? The, the definition is number of unique accounts reached per post. The engagement rate is how well your content is resonating with your community. So when, you, when you're newer and you're getting your name out there, sometimes you wanna have a higher reach rate. If, you're, if your engagement is, is great, it's still impressions, top of mind. Some people are like, I, I just wanna have engagement. I, I don't, you know, well, if you got two people that are engaging with you all the time, yes, it's better than nothing, but the goal is to reach more people, okay? Um, comments plus likes per post, number of followers. I like to look at the engagement rate because look at guys, I'm no expert. I might play one on TV, right? But all of this, when it comes to social media, it's constantly changing. It's like a guess and check method. And anybody tells you different, it's full of shit. Okay. I'm going to tell it to you like it is. Uh, I, I might have a post. I'm like, you know what? Today I feel like I'm going to do this. I'm going to educate them on Instagram and I'm going to tell them a little bit about reach rate and engagement rate and how much they should be posting. And this could, this could fall flat. And last week or two weeks ago, I don't remember what I talked about. Oh, dub. And you really like the dub one. And the dub one happened like at the last minute because I. Ideal world, you want your reach and engagement rates to be as high as possible, of course. But look at these statistics, which I think people can appreciate. Once you really dive deeper and you start looking. Um, like this as we start looking at uh your content if you account on instagram you're going to want to convert it from a personal account to a creator account when you do that you have a lot more capabilities you have your email your website your, your three calls to action there but then you also have the insights the insights are where it's at that's really where you can dive deeper and look at every post and go okay this one higher engagement rate this one awful right? And if you do your content and what we would call um, pillars of content, which is like subject matter, it could be tips for sellers. There's one pillar. Then I could do uh, tips for buyers, another pillar. Then I could do community or points of interest is a third pillar. And then the fourth one could just be fun stuff, you know, whatever you want to do off the wall. Okay. Or you could separate points of interest in your area with best things. Best restaurant, best, 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 whatever it is. But reach rate, um, number of posts per week. You see, as as the posts go up, your reach rate and your engagement rate goes up for under 1,000 followers. The numbers don't lie. They analyze 81 million accounts. And I, when I saw this, I was like, no freaking way. But it makes sense uh, because some of you who are like, You'll, you'll go on one of my classes and then you'll go gangbusters. And I think some people post too much. Like you don't want to post just to post. Uh, you still want to try to develop quality content. Uh, and so like some of the stuff you can put in your story because that's just happening throughout the day. Uh, create content that's, in, you know, that you feel will resonate with your audience. Don't just create garbage. No basura, por favor, porque me llamo Jeremias Rajendra Roque Perez Manero. Okay. 
Um, here's the chart for 1K to 50K. That's where I'm at. Um, again, I'm not posting enough. I know I'm not posting enough because when I get busy and I'm on the road and I'm speaking all day, um, sometimes I'm lazy. I'm not lazy, but I forget to post because I'm talking to people about posting all day and then I don't post. Um, I still am adding to my stories. But then 250K followers, some of us don't have to worry about that for quite a while. Okay. Um, there is a free Instagram scheduler with uh, later.com. But they have a ton of information here. Uh, this is why, like, those of us who know stuff follow other people that know more stuff so that we can learn. I'm constantly learning. And I, I've, I've learned a ton over the years uh, from these folks over at Later. So I would say follow them. And you can learn more, too. Now, what I'm going to do over here, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the chat. Put it in the chat, in the comments. I'm going to move something over to this other side. Live producer. I'm going to put it over there. It's going to start melting. But then I'm going to make my third display. All right. Then I'm going to do a zoom, zoom, zoom over here with my telephono. Okay, let's see this. You guys are very quiet. If you're quiet, I feel like I just wanna hang up. So please comment where you're from, what you're doing, how you living, uh, while I share my screen here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Zoom and then I'm gonna turn my video on and then we're going to share the screen. Because I was determined, there's so many things that happened this day that I could have just said the hell with this uh, 18 Fridays because I had to schedule it, reschedule it, and then I missed my time and then, but I'm gonna do it, okay? There we go, I'm gonna start my video. You guys can see me, yeah, I'm in the studio. All right, now I'm gonna share my screen, turn that video off because you don't need to see that. Um, share the screen, start now. Okay, now you should be seeing my screen. Oh shoot, I know what I gotta do differently. Hold on. One moment, please. I'm gonna move this over to the third screen, there we go. Then we're going full screen. Okay, we rocking? Okay, there we go. Sometimes things take more time because I have only two hands and I'm holding a microphone and blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're gonna go over to Instagram. I'm going to slide over to the story feature. Okay. Now you can see you're going to create layout. You want to do hands free. Boom. So I do hands free. Now I had a question the other day. Won't mention any names, but they wanted to know if you're doing hands free on a reel on iOS, you got to just double tap your screen and that'll flip your camera around. You can see how I have the flip uh, right here. If I go hands free, I say, all I want to do is I'm a zoom, 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 and a room, room. And shake your up. Oh, boop, boop, da, boop, 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 boop. Did the boop, 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 boop. Okay. Oh, there they go. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, boy. Coming right at you. Ba, da, 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 da. This is what I do sometimes on reels. You guys even know that I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See that? Now at the top. Sliding from the top, I have all kinds of engagement stuff, right? So first thing I'm going to do is music. Uh, what should I do here? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Then I can also tag my location. I can tag somebody who would be... Don't tag people that aren't actually in the stories or the reels, okay, folks? Uh, hashtags, captions, questions. Ask me a question. Okay, add that. What else are we going to do? Every single one of these is an engagement tool. So with gifts, I might say, let's go. I'm ready. I mean, I don't want to do too much. I'm doing a lot of this for demonstration purposes. Just like this. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Whew. There is one thing I could say that like, I gotta stop sharing. Um, let me hit stop share right there. It's gonna melt the screen now. I'm gonna go back to the single screen. All right, so I just want to come out here quick. If I do a reel, don't hang up. <laughs> don't hang up. Or I do a reel and it goes into my main post. That counts as a post, correct? Um, no. In that study, they're not counting reels as posts. They're monitored differently. Uh, and, and if you look at your overall statistics, um, when you get into your insights, the reels aren't, aren't really covered. It's feed posts. And IGTV, so there's there's all kinds of things uh, that are different. Uh, well, what other questions do you ladies have? I guess it's it's a matter of you guys aren't utilizing. Most people don't utilize all of those those swipe down from the top features. You won't have the the swipe up like I do yet until you reach ten thousand followers. Um, but you can swipe up to an IGTV video. So that's one way to use IGTV videos creatively. Uh, if you do a longer video, longer than one minute, up to one hour, uh, you can post it on Instagram. And you could then say, hey guys, did you catch the uh, live stream that we did about our favorite coffee shop? It, okay, you wanna see it? You, you wanna watch the replay? Swipe up and you'll go right to the video. Right, you're boosting. Uh, you see me do it. I might post a reel. I might do an IGTV, and then I'll take those and then put them in the story as well, so that you're 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 cross promoting it and getting getting more uh, more exposure there. But tagging people is also important. Tagging the, lo the location where you're at. If you're at an event, ask whoever the event planner is, the director, the broker. But like, yo, do we have a hashtag if you don't have a hashtag say hey okay can I use this as a hashtag let me know if that's okay and then you want to double check every hashtag you ever use uh, to be sure that it isn't already being used number one number two it's not being used by something or somebody who's inappropriate because then all these people will create content they'll find the other stuff that's not cool uh, so find out what the what the hashtag is of the event when you post it, you're going to get more exposure because like, especially at conferences and stuff like that, like if you're in the tri-state area, we have triple play coming up in December. It's New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. If you're going to the NAR annual, uh, they have people who are monitoring the conference uh, social media for those hashtags, and then they're going to repost all those content. So it's just another great way for you to get exposure uh, to additional people that would have never seen you because they don't know who you are but you got reposted by, by uh, a conference type feed. Now, lastly, I guess the last tip I wanna give you is to engage with your audience, right? I go to my stories, I see who's looking at my stories, and then every once in a while I just hit them a message. How's it going? <laughs> what, that's all you gotta do? Yeah, hey, how's it going? How are things? Yep, because people like people. Right, you engage with them, 
you say, Hey, uh, yeah, I'm in real estate, but how are, you know, how are you in the, in, in the family? If you've heard me talk before, we talk about the Ford concept of communication, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. So you can always have a conversation about that, but don't, you know, you don't want to go hard right in and be like, Hey, do you know anybody that's thinking about buying or selling real estate's crazy right now? I can sell your house. Just be a friend, right? You got a friend in me. I haven't seen Toy Story in a while, but you always got a friend in me. Uh, let's see. Britt says, I've been trying to do that. And that's exactly what you should do. Uh, because social media is about conversations. It's about talking to people, engaging. Uh, and then also go through your feed if people have good things that are going on in their life. And don't just comment. Don't just like it. If it's something really good, like they got a new job, uh, they just had a baby, they just um, just got married, just got divorced, I don't know, whatever really makes them happy, uh, send them a message. Better yet, with Messenger, if you're already friends, man, the other day, uh, you guys know my friend Marky Lemons Rouse, she's a speaker, uh, you can ask her how many people sent her a happy birthday video. How many? I bet just one, I'm guessing. But maybe, you know, if it was five, it would be still one of five. And I sang it myself. I didn't send like a video. I sang, I was like, happy birthday to you. And I had my, uh, my five-year-old chimed in too. It's like doing things like that. It's cute. You'll be remembered. You're showing people that you care. Uh, really just try to connect with your audience. That's what it's all about. That's social media. That's me talking from my corazón on this wonderful Friday. And you know, and I still got this cold, but it hasn't gone away, which still makes me sound even more like Steve Urkel. Hi! Hi, Laura! That's all I got. Without any other questions, I think I'm going to be out. 123. Anything else? I'll wait. I'll wait for you. I do appreciate it. Ow. Something bit my leg. <laughs> yeah, look at this cool shirt I got today, though. Um, says... 21 stories for scouts. This is the tower that I rappelled down. They could have done a little bit better. They should have let me design the shirt because the white is drowned out by the by the white. I mean, you know, we need to outline that a little bit. But anyways, for a great cause, I'm going to upload the video here shortly. Um, we had, they had Go, GoPro cameras on our heads and, sh and stuff. It's really good. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Manero with J-Man Speaks. Go out there and make it a great day.